Spork. Hi, I'm Jester. I'm Norseman. And I'm Ragnoth. And we are Spork Gaming. Today we are going to be showing off the Bering M3A laser cannon and providing you with a technical breakdown of the weapon, including shield and ship damage, kill shots, power consumption, and heat levels. Then, to wrap it all up, Whitley himself will be giving us his insights on this iteration of the M-Series weapon system. Please keep in mind, all of this information is subject to change as Star Citizen is still in Alpha. We will be making changes as necessary. The Baron M3 laser is a Type 1 weapon system. After doing some testing, we found that each shot generates 28.5 heat units. It will overheat in 14 seconds of constant fire. Each shot consumes 3 power units and has an approximate range of 615 meters. Now these numbers are approximate, but after several tests, we are pretty confident on the results. Here's a look into the combat efficiency of the M3A. We put two of our favorite ships up to the test, the Anvil Hornet and the Aegis Avenger. What we found was rather alarming. Although the M3A proved to be consistent in its shield damaging capability at 8 damage per hit, it is really apparent that it is definitely not the fastest at causing shield failure with failure occurring at 3.5 hits. Unfortunately, once the target's shields have been taken offline, the M3A continued to show its mediocrity. At another 8 damage per hit, the M3A provided a constant DPS of 32. Where it got interesting was the shot placement. If you're tailing a Hornet, don't plan on an easy kill. After several tests, it took 58 shots to bring a Hornet down. The best angle of attack on both ships, however, proved to be the cockpit area, more specifically the canopy and nose. Please take note, however, the Avenger appears to be invincible when being shot directly in the canopy. It appears the shields recharge quicker than the M3A is able to hit the ship. This is likely occurring due to a bug in game. The last thing to take note of is that it's important to keep in mind that debris plays a huge role when firing on target. In multiple tests that we performed, the sides of a ship actually ended up being great for disabling weapons, but pretty bad for kill shots. Hey guys, Whitley here. Sometimes you gotta go back to actually move forward, and sometimes to see where you're going and I think Bering did just that the M3A is the entry level model of Bering's M series laser cannon with a lower rate of fire low power consumption and low cost the Bering M3A laser cannon is one of the best choices for the citizen on a budget To wrap it all up, in the current state of Arena Commander, when you consider the existing bugs and the modules that have yet to be introduced into the game, like accurate power consumption and shield systems, the M3A alone will not win many battles for you. Overall, we would recommend using this weapon as a secondary or backup choice for a low power consuming and relatively low heat output laser cannon. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please feel free to click the subscribe button below, and you can always follow us on Twitter at Spork underscore gaming. Spork.